Hello golfers and welcome to the Just Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. And today I've got the golf swing tip that's gonna help you get in a much better position immediately to hit better shots. And I see this all the time from golfers that just understanding how to move their body from setup at address to shaft parallel in the backswing is tremendously important. I see so many people staying flexed over with their head moving to the right and their head down that it just puts them in a bad position automatically to not hit a solid golf shot. And so what do we focus on right away is you want to understand that the buttons in your shirt from setup is flexed over and then as you go back from setup which is P1 position one to position two, the buttons go to the sky. So you can see here, what I see most people do is they keep the buttons to the ground. You're gonna go from setup, P1, P2, buttons to the sky. And so when you do that, you can see how much tilting and extending. Also, my head does not flex forward or flex down and around. It actually tilts and extends. My neck tilts and extends and you can see is that I am extending and tilting from P1 to P2. So I would say if you could work on that and just hit little shots from P1 to P2 to P7.5, uh, just little shots like that, work on doing that. If you're struggling with your ball striking, this is immensely helpful to do. Okay, and you can work. There's so many good things here. So when, when I do that, when I, when I take the club back from P1 to P2, I'm extending and tilting my body. So my weight is already on my left leg. So I get a lot of questions from all of you out there is where is the weight in your backswing and your downswing? Where's the weight on the feet? So when you're doing this, as you go back, my weight right now is at least 70-30 on my left side here. So my weight 70-30, but you can see I've made a pretty good takeaway already with my shoulders have turned in a circle. I've tilted and extended my body, my, my spine and my neck. So I've done a lot of good stuff there. So I go from P1 to P2. Now what happens is that now my weight's forward, so you can see that here. So my shoulders have gone from P1 to P2 with the extension of my, of my buttons to the sky. And then from here, it moves back my buttons to the sky. So this is gonna be very helpful for a lot of golfers out there. And I'll tell you what, this is great for beginner golfers too, every level player, but you're gonna learn how to keep the weight forward, get the buttons to the sky from P1 to P2, and then be able to hit the ground every time. Because we know that when you play golf, the ball is on the ground. So the ball's on the ground, you have to hit the ball high enough on the face. But if you never hit the ground with your club in the right place, you'll never get the ball in the air. And so that's what I see a lot when I give lessons here at Deer Creek Golf Club in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Beautiful day down here in June. I mean, amazing weather. So we're gonna tilt and extend tilt and extend. So you can see this, if I just kept going back, now you can see where I'm staying very centered. I see so many people lift and move and shift to the right. Um, if you watch my Instagram, I put a lot of stuff up there about, you know, head on the wall and how the shoulders turn in a circle and a tilt and a motion like that. So that's something you'll see on my Instagram channel. I'll probably be bringing you a YouTube video like that. But today, definitely focusing on P1 to P2. So from P1 to P2 to about seven and a half or eight. So P1 to P2, seven and a half to eight. That'd be eight there. So, and you can see that every single time when I do this, I'm hitting the ground every single time. And so, you know, you have to create this good impact right here. So when I teach a new player, I'm gonna keep doing this over and over again because the ball's on the ground, they're gonna hit the ground every time. So every time they hit the ground, that ball's gonna fly in the air 
and that ball's going to go forward. And it's it really that shot went about 60 yards right there. Not a lot of effort, not trying to swing hard, but I used leverage. I used the tilt and extension of my body, and I made really solid contact. So every single time, that's really that's super important. So here's your here's your bonus tip today from this drill, P1 to P2. Because what I see with a lot of people, I'm going to put the stick in the ground on an angle here. Okay, what I see with a lot of people when they start staying flexed over, the club goes back too far inside. They whip the club inside, they lift it, and come over the top. Now, this motion from P1 to P2 with the buttons to the sky helps the club rise. So many people go swing the club too far inside, too flat, right off the bat. Okay, so P1 to P2 is also going to allow the club to go up and make that club circle, my left arm circle around my shoulders. So, so many people take that club and go under. So, golfers need to learn that to make the butt end of the club rise, it has to go on the tilt. So I'm going on the tilt, butt end of the club rises up, okay? So that's why stack and tilt such a valuable system because you're able to break down the golf swing to where you need it. Now you might do P1 to T P2 perfect, maybe this isn't the video for you, but I guarantee you there's 90% of the golfers out there that do not go from setup to P2 correctly. And you could rehearse this time and time again. So you can see, even from as I get the club to P2, P3 is not that far away, and P4 is not that far away. So going from setup P1 to P2 to P3 to P4 to P5 to P6 to P7 can help you play better golf. And so that's why doing these little swings, okay, so here's my setup. So you can see is that my hands are in, club head's out, done these videos before. You can see where this club head goes, not around. So when I stay flexed over buttons to the ground, that brings the club too far around and in. So this motion right here is extremely important. It's going to help you hit the ball more solid, more consistently. And that's what you're always looking for. So there's a couple, there's a bonus tip for you with this, with this stick here. I'll even put it uh, face on camera view so you can see that. So now when I go back, this club is not traveling inside and flat, which I see a lot of, again, in and up and over. Where here, it's definitely tilting, extending, club's going to the top here, not much better. Now I'm staying centered in my pivot, tilted, weight forward. So all the good things that, that we look for in the golf swing. So hopefully this helps you. If you really, really enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. Pass it around to your friends. Share it out there with all your golfing buddies who look like, you know, when they take it back, their club moves around in a merry-go-round. So that will help them a lot. So again, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know your biggest takeaway from this video. Again, Jess Frank from the Jess Frank Golf Academy. I love teaching this game. I love helping people play better golf. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.